Ahoy ahoy and uh, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time watching one of my videos welcome and hope you enjoy this video. Um, we Today we're going to take a look at the custom slipcase that I've made for uh, the Doom Patrol by Rachel Pollack Omnibus. And um, just a, a quick recap. Uh, this is the third section, the third, the third segment of the second volume of Doom Patrol. So you've got, it, it's collected. Uh, this is the first um, part of it. Well, almost half, I, th I believe. The, um, let's see. I have a custom slipcase for this, uh, made for this, by the way. It's um, somewhere on my channel. <laughs> okay, so this, yeah. So this part of the book is the uh, guest appearances, uh, one shots and other stuff that were, uh, that appeared before this no it appeared after the Silver Age run which was coll also collected in an omnibus and then the Doom Patrol number one there never was a Doom Patrol number one before this so <laughs> because because the original run the Doom Patrol started with uh, my greatest adventure and it didn't even start at number one so um, this is officially the first ever Doom Patrol number one ever made so um, and uh, this part of the book uh, comprises everything from number one to uh, just before uh, Grant Morrison's run so there, here it is and then this is oh man this is one of look at that monster right there see <laughs> it's it's one of the biggest books I've ever owned along with another uh, Grant Morrison book uh, the invisibles and this is um, the uh the doom patrol run starting with issue 19 until issue 63 so this is a very um this is one of the earliest omni omnibuses that were published by dc because the the run is so popular and so uh, defining <laughs> i guess um it and then funny thing is this was published under vertigo but uh, it, the original run wasn't um it the issues uh, that were released under Vertigo started with the Rachel Pollack run, just right here, the omnibus. This is what we're going to look at today. So first, um, a quick look at the book. So as you can see, the design is a bit similar to the graphic. It, the thing is, the, the both were drawn by a uh, Brian Boland, and the all the covers on, under that run or at least during Grant Morrison's and you know as it shifts into a Rachel Pollack's run you have um, this white stripe motif and um, that carried on into this run this is a lot thinner of course <laughs> and it was released under DC uh, during this time uh, DC is now uh, using the the words black label on the spine whereas before um, DC black label is here but the uh, the logo here is just DC I'm just wondering why they didn't just move the logo here I don't know anyway so the art restoration isn't that um, it's not that great I, I don't know the colors are look a bit off but you know uh, this is a period where digital uh, rather the art it, everything is done manually so they, did, they didn't keep like textless versions of it so this is the spine and um, yeah there's a story in here as to <laughs> why robot man had a kid inside him but yeah there it is and yeah just plain black um, and papers and then the back design is uh, so very similar and let me just put the jacket back because we're going to take a look at the slip case now and uh, I've been actually waiting for this for like years before this got released because um, you know Grant Morrison's run was released in various uh, formats like a uh, a uh, bunch of thin trade paperbacks and then three thick paperbacks and of course the omnibus was published in or had several print runs but this is the only volume that actually collects 
these issues. And it, there was originally a trade paperback that was supposed to be volume volume four uh, that follows the Grant Morrison run, but it kind of got well, it got canceled and it never got solicited. So that was that wasn't cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm glad uh, this is released. So this is the slipcase. So this is one of the covers, and it, it was also used as a frontispiece right there. See, though I uh, yeah, of course I didn't divide that. And then this is the spine, which um, carries. I this is this sort of carries over the uh, design motif that I did I used with the other Doom Patrol custom slipcases. So you got the logo and the sort of a, a lighter colored version of the uh, artwork behind the spine. This is the the Bronze Age omnibus, and uh, yeah. And yeah, this is and this is the cover to the final issue of Volume Two. I, I actually have this in in a single format, and um, I don't know, couldn't find it, but <laughs> it's somewhere in there in my stack. Um, yeah, but I do believe this is. Of course, if this is an omnibus, I mean, uh, the artist uh, in, in these last few issues, Ted McKeever, is an acquired taste. But um, if, if you've been reading the sandman there, there's actually a run i think the one of the uh, a stretch of past few issues was drawn by ted mckeever ah here we go so yeah i uh, obviously had to like trim it somewhere here just to make this fit and as i was talking about earlier um the Grant Morrison's run never was published, or, or never was uh, released in singles under the Vertigo label. Um, this run, on the other hand, was the f had the first the first issue of this one was actually released under Vertigo. See, so it made sense to have. <laughs> Funny, it's not. You know, it's it's now black label. I mean, by the time the book was released, it was already a uh, vertical was already defunct. But uh, yeah, let's um, put it back in the slipcase. And there, what a satisfying funk. So this is your look at um, the custom slipcase for the Doom Patrol Rachel uh, Pollack omnibus. Um, if you're still watching, then I assume that you like the video. So um, why not uh, give this video a like and subscribe? I have a ton of um, ton of custom stuff and unboxing stuff that uh, you'll see on my channel, and you won't even have to see my ugly mug for it. So <laughs> um, until next video, uh, take care and be good.